Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I have this super sweet baby card tutorial to share with you, featuring Lawn Fawn's new Elephant Parade stamp set and its add-on. Now I dove straight into the background for this card. It's another one of those backgrounds where I'm watering down some distressed inks quite a lot and then setting my cardstock in it. So here I have some wilted violet and some peacock feathers. I love these colours, they're both so beautiful and they look really good together when they're blended this way. So all I've done there is use a little spray bottle and I've sprayed it so much and then I've just dipped my cardstock in there. It is really faint but I feel like it looks a little bit better once it has some time to dry. Now here I have a white cardstock frame and all I'm doing with this is using just a little bit of each of those inks. I'm watering them down and then I'm going to sprinkle them all over. This is just a really subtle change to this dark white and it just ties everything in together so nicely. Once my background has had just a little bit of time to dry, I'm then going to go over it with my white gold watercolour pigment. This look is really subtle, but I love that whenever the card is being handled, it has that beautiful shimmer to it. And then again, I'm going in with those Distress inks, using just a little bit of them watered down and adding them to my background. After that, I'm using some white acrylic paint. And I'm doing this because I find this paint works the best with setting on these backgrounds. If I use another Distress or Distress Oxide ink, it tends to just blend in, but an acrylic ink seems to sit nicely on top. And I'm hoping that this looks like little stars in the background. It might seem like a lot of different colours and splatters, but this is just such a nice way to add a lot of texture to a flat background. Now because I dove straight into that background, I didn't get to show what I was using. So those are my elephant parade stamps. I've got some stitched clouds, some stitched cloud borders, my Henry's ABCs, they're my favourite to use at the moment. This is the border that I use for my frame. I just trimmed off those little banners. And then these are all the paints that I used. I really didn't have a lot of images for this card. Just the elephant with the baby, the little flower crown, the pinwheel and a baby bottle. I did also add just two little birdies a little bit later, but I don't think I recorded that. So I grabbed them from the Bundle of Joy stamp set, which is a much older baby stamp set by Lawn Fawn. I just felt like the space in the background needed a little something extra and those birdies were perfect. As always with my colouring, I'm going in with a light Copic marker first and then a darker one and then blending them together. I'm going with neutral greys, they're the only greys that I own and I feel like they just go with whatever background you make no matter how cool or warm it is. I'll leave you with a little bit of music while I finish these off. Lawn Fawn's Pixie Dust cardstock is probably one of my favourite cardstocks. It can be used with so many different things, but also because that glitter does not come off or go anywhere all over my other crafty items. I feel like it looks really cute for clouds. It adds a lot of texture and a lot of sparkle. So here I've used my cloud border for a big piece down the bottom, and then I've also cut it with my stitched rectangle so that it fits beautifully within my background. I've also cut a bunch of little clouds 
and I'm going to be placing them all around the edges to frame my sentiment. So here I am just coming up with a way to get all of these letters nice and neat. I cannot do anything straight by eye to save myself so I did use some washi tape to stick down a ruler to get these nice and straight. And while I do love how big and beautiful and bold this Hello Baby sentiment is, I really wish that I had just made it a little bit higher. You'll see why very soon. I feel like my little elephants just cover it a tiny bit too much on the word baby, but I hope you'll agree that it is still a very cute card. Once my sentiment is in place, I then add the rest of those clouds and I'm not too worried about not having them all the way up against the edges because I have that nice little frame to go around and hide any of those gaps. I am using my semi-permanent glue tape here. This does adhere permanent eventually, but in the meantime it is temporary so I can move those clouds around if I need to. It also helps when lining up my frames in case I don't get it straight or right on the first go, which is most times. Before I go adding any three dimensional pieces or anything that's going to be in the way of this sentiment, I'm going to add some white highlights with my jelly roll pen. I've already done this on my little stamped images, so this is just another thing that's going to tie everything together. Now it's time for my elephants and I've already got some foam squares on the backs of them and I'm going to pop them in the center down the bottom. I'm sure you can see now that they are a little bit high on that word baby. I wish there was just a tiny bit more of a gap, but I still think it's very cute. I'm then adding the other images around them and this is where I decided that those little birdies needed to come in. And once those little birdies are on, it was then time to adhere this card front onto a card base. I've got some double-sided tape on the back and I'm going to stick it all together and then this card is going to be complete. And there we have it. I hope you love this baby card as much as I enjoyed making it. If you did, then please give this video a thumbs up and please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.